What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit behind on the Invicta recaps. Uh, I'm trying to get those out to you as soon as possible. Uh, it's just a very busy weekend with the 1.0 versus 2.0 war, uh, so I should be caught up probably by tomorrow afternoon. I'll have uh, have the latest one done, which just ended this afternoon or this evening. Um, Anyhow, but uh, let's just take a look. See here, uh, it was against this Olympus Warfare Clan level eight uh, victory for Invicta, 54 to 47. <clears throat> um, they used 38 of 40 attacks, so we'll just quickly check to see what they did. Uh, they did manage to get a three star on Ice there, their number one guy. Uh, one star uh, though only on Josh. One star on Morrow, so they missed a couple of the tens. Uh, few bully attacks and a few a couple town hall nine uh threes there but missed quite a few of the nines and invicta two starred uh all the tens and three starred one of the tens and missed one of the nines so good job guys uh some really nice attacks in here uh one of those smaller 20 man wars but uh we're gonna, we're gonna roll through some of these attacks we got a town hall 10 three star here to show by tate let's jump in so uh, you'd have to ask Tater when the Town Hall 10 guys, but I'm pretty sure he was just going for two here and it turned into three. But it's almost like he does, he just sections off this base. He knows he's, he sends in the majority of his force at the three o'clock position because he knows he's going to get the Town Hall. Uh, but sends in another chunk down here. I, I thought this was funny. He has a jump fail. King starts beating on the wall. But it doesn't matter because Tate is a boss. He's just going to roll right in here. Uh, Queen locks on that Lava Hound. She's going to end up taking all of that out on her own. He's got a few wizards doing some work up top. And he's about to send in the last little section here. He's got one more golem, a P.E.K.K.A. and five whiz. He's going to end up sending that in at 12 o'clock. So I think he was really just going for percentage all around the base. And it just ends up sandwiching in and bagging him the three as you'll end up seeing here. So... Heroes now kind of meet up in the core. Here comes this other prong of his attack I was talking about. Pekka is in. The Golem is in. A few wizards backing it up. They're just going to shred this whole top section of the base all on their own for a very minimal amount of troop space. So that's great. Queen is taking on the defense king. Now she locks on to the town hall. She's going to get some help from those wizards on the back end in a sec. King's still doing work. He takes down that clan castle finally. The, unfortunately, that cannon is locked onto him. I think takes him out. Oh, not quite, but he goes down here in one second. There he goes. Queen is full health, though, with her ability still at this point, and there's really only a handful of defenses left for all of this. A max P.E.K.K.A. is not going to get taken down. I mean, even with that one Tesla there, it's pretty much cleanup. Not forget the seven hogs he brought uh, that he is just sending in now with 30 seconds to go in this replay. Uh, great job, Tate. Absolutely murdered this base. Look at all the troops you got left. Just little surgical P.E.K.K.A. action. Good job, buddy. All right, check out number eight. Alpha coming in on number eight. What I liked here was the precision on the build, uh, on the kind of true placement. He drops a few minions at the top. He drops a loon at the bottom to spring that uh, trap and the Tesla, and then drops two dragons right on top of the Tesla. It doesn't stand a chance. Drops the rage, continues for the drag swap. He's trying to get the queen here. Drags are going to take out the gold storages in one second. They're going to move in. Queen locks on. As soon as that queen locks on, two puffs from that dragon. She's toast. All right, so that section of the attack is over. He's going to send in. Now, remember, he already created his funnel with the minions at the beginning. So he's just going to drop two golems and a bunch of wizards right in this clump. He's going to get a jump down over top somewhere around that air defense. And it's just going to let everything in. Queen is down. She's going to start backing this all up looks good there goes the jump golems start to rewrote so there goes the king in behind the golems here comes the clan castle it's a couple loons a valk and a couple wizards i think poison goes down take care of all of that queen's gonna lock onto that in a second help out king's moving in as soon as the king jumps over this wall this air defense is going down and this whole section is going to open up. There is, I think, a double giant bomb set right here. And that's what he's waiting for to make sure it triggers before he sends in his hogs. 
Uh, here come a few hogs sprinkling in, just kind of helping out the top section. There go the double giant bombs. He's going to start really going heavy on the hogs here now. There they are, coming in from the 3 o'clock section. Heels going down, boom, there it is. Looking good. Hogs are just going to wreck through this base under the under these heels. We've got one more heel and a handful of hogs just reinforcing. One more heel is going to go down over this Tesla. Queen's doing work still up there, taking out Tesla's defenses. She is basically going to finish off this top section of the base. Hogs are still standing under heels. Wizard Tower crossbow go down. There's really only three defenses remaining. Awesome job, Alpha. Just killed this guy. Boom, and it's clean up. Look at the sliver of health on that queen. All right. It's on, on to a different little thing I noticed about this video. Um, being an Invicta, it gives us the pleasure of having a little, quite, fam, uh, quite often we have new faces in the clan because we're kind of in between on the 2.0 chain so we're uh, quite often giving players to 2.0 and receiving players from Swarm so uh, this war is uh, had three uh, three guys that are very new to Invicta Peter here is for one of them uh, it was Peter and who else we got here CAD and Greg's Kingdom uh, all new guys from Swarm, and they are killing it. So let's start with Peter here. Peter brings a Stone Goho. Very compact base. So his jump spell here gets very good value. Three golems going in. He's just creating his funnel. Wall opens up. Everything's looking good at this point. He doesn't care that this golem's over here because this jump is just going to open up all of this section of the base. That's all he really needs to get to. The queen's going to be standing in this compartment. CC troop comes out. Poison goes down to handle the CC troops. Things are looking pretty sweet at this point. Queen's moving in. Great patience on the king. King just walking in behind. The CC troops are completely gone before he even gets there. He goes in, triggers the two double giant bombs. Both sets get triggered here. Great job on that. Hogs go in and it's game over without any bombs. Uh, no bueno defense against Hogs. So uh, he's got two heals. One's going down for this section. Another one's going to go down for this uh, kind of six, five o'clock section. Um, yeah, Peter just ripped this base up. Sprinkling the Hogs too at the six o'clock just to kind of keep everything moving in under this heel is about to put down. There goes the heel. Had a boy, Peter. Looking good. And that's your three star coming up. A lot of trash, but look at all these hogs. Look, look at that. I don't, I don't think he lost any hogs. Nice job, buddy. Good three star. All right, so... Cad, bring the heat. Uh, Cad brings a, another Stone Goho here. Um, comes in from the 9 o'clock position. He's got three heals and a jump. Does not for the rage. I'm a big fan of opting out of the rage for the kill squad, especially if you're just using it for the CC troops. Just with poison, it makes a pretty big difference um, nowadays, the poison. Like, you don't really need rage just for cc troops if you want to push deep into the base it might be a good idea but other than that uh i'm i always opt for the third heal personally um his troops go in here behind they're all protected the, the hound and the cc isn't going to do anything to them uh queen is locked on though so she's going to be held up for a while but the king's in there helping the golems do work crossbow's going to go down in a second he just needs to get to that defensive queen and he's looking good because I think there also is a DGB that he's going to get here uh, once he takes out these buildings. But he doesn't care about that at this point. He's just going to send his hogs in from 6 o'clock. Heel goes down. Looking good. He's got 15 more hogs. He's going to get a little bit of tanky for a great value from the giant 
Um, I'm first going to get the third archer tower, but definitely got two archer towers on them for all those hogs. They just walked right in there untouched. Heal goes down for those hogs. Bomb goes off, but it doesn't matter. They're both all standing in heal. Sends in his last few hogs to kind of reinforce in this section up as they move up towards the 12 o'clock section. Uh, Golem finally went down. Uh, unfortunately, the the pups kind of ran free there. The queen uh, the queen didn't follow them, but the queen's back here doing cleanup at the same time. So I'm pretty sure the the you know the poison went down too. That was a great reaction for Cad there um, because the pups were going to do some damage to his hogs if he didn't do anything about it. So good job. Uh, actually, it worked out good that he saved the poison and didn't preemptively drop it on the CC because it was a hound, right? It would have been a complete waste. It is clean up from this point. Nice job. Tons of hogs left. Killed it, Cad. Beautiful. All right. So, last one here. We got Greg's Kingdom. He's... Gonna bring four healers here, so he does a bit of a queen walk. He uses the third healer on the golem, which I thought was really cool. Um, and because of that third healer on the golem, it allowed him to not have to bring a second golem. So he essentially saves 16 troop space by doing that. Um, so as you see, three healers down on the archer queen, and then one healer down on this golem. He's just gonna use that golem to create as much of a funnel as he can. He also brings, I believe, was it? No. Um, for some reason I thought he brought a balloon for that cannon, but uh, must have been another replay. Been watching a lot of replays the last few days, uh, but everything's going to plan. You know, he's got his funnel created. Uh, the wall gets opened up here now. Golem can move in. Look how much health it has still. Like it's barely been touched. So great read on using the healer instead of a second golem here. That allows him to bring 26 hogs and a witch, which he still hasn't even dropped, by the way. Which goes down, and of course, right as I say that, uh, that's just going to add extra tanking in here. Everything's looking great. Hound in the CC, that's actually probably a good thing at this point, even though it's going to lock the Archer Queen up. Uh, it's not doing any damage to that Golem, which is still almost at the same health. So now that the, now that the Skeletons are in there from the Witch, you know, and the Heroes are in there doing work, he's going to get a huge section of this base for really going in with one Golem and one Healer. This Healer is just now starting to take damage from an Air Defense. So it's going to go down. No, it survives with this liver of health. I can't believe it. Hogs come in from the 6 o'clock. He's got even more Hogs coming in from the 3 o'clock. Heal's going to go down right over top of that crossbow any second now. There, maybe a little late on the heel. There it is. Uh, Hogs looking good at this point. Crossbow goes down. He's really got this Tesla Hell and one more heal, which is going to go down any second from now. There it is. Boom. Bomb gets triggered, but they're standing on their heels. Everything is looking okay. Teslas are going to go down momentarily. Hogs just need to shred through these last few defenses. Even though there's a million skeletons on them. Everything looking great. If you can just get this archer tower down, it's going to turn down on these skeletons now. Boom. Skellies are down, and it is clean up. Good job, Greg. Nice attack, buddy. That's your three star. All right. Just tried to keep this video short. Again, I'm just trying to catch up on the Invicta recaps, and they will continue coming. Uh, that'll about do it for me. It's getting pretty late here. I'm sure you can probably tell that I'm tired in my voice. Uh, I've been doing a lot of talking today as well. Uh, anyhow, so that does it with your for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you guys bag that next three star. Until then, I am out.